What's up YouTube, it's Mike Swigunski here and today I'm gonna to be talking about everything Amazon FBA. I'm gonna be giving a really macro overview about what exactly Amazon FBA is, what it means, and how you can kind of learn more in this video and maybe later on take actions to start making money by having your own Amazon FBA business. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because I'm gonna share a few secrets and next actionable steps to get started with starting your own Amazon FBA business. So let's go ahead and dig in right now. So probably the first thing you're wondering is what the heck is Amazon FBA and it stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. So essentially if you've bought just about any product on Amazon, there's about a 50-50 chance or maybe even more that that product is actually coming from a third party supplier. And these third party suppliers are a lot of times Americans or Chinese owned businesses, uh, usually a combination of solopreneurs or small entrepreneurs who are two or three people. Essentially what they're doing is they're sourcing their products, often from Asia, sending it to Amazon. And then once it's in Amazon's hands, they're essentially fulfilling those products. So if you go onto amazon.com, there's gonna be products that are owned and operated fully by Amazon but a big majority of these products are gonna be these third party sellers. And you can kind of see the differentiator. I'll go ahead and show a little bit difference, a comparison of this product's from a third party seller or this product is being sold by Amazon. And I'm sure you're familiar with Amazon Basics. Those are all obviously gonna be sold by Amazon. Now, essentially what's the differentiator between Amazon FBA versus you know buying something on Shopify or creating a Shopify store? And there's a few different differentiators. With an e-commerce business, you're having to generate all the traffic. You're having to essentially do most of the fulfillment. You're having to manage all the orders and customer service. So you're getting a lot more of that benefit, but the power of Amazon is they're handling all the fulfillment. They're shipping the items to the customers. They're handling returns. They're handling any customer um, issues. You basically just have to worry about making a good product, and making it look pretty on the page, uh, getting some sort of advertisement through Amazon to get more traffic to your page. But the great thing is there's a lot of organic traffic already happening. So that's one of the big benefits, why people are able to get on Amazon and start making uh, money a lot quicker than if you were gonna start with an e-commerce business and you didn't have some sort of previous methodology to drive traffic to your store on Shopify. Amazon FBA is a multi-billion dollar industry and it's definitely something that is going to take a long time to figure out. Now, if you're thinking this is going to be a get rich quick scheme, this is not for you. That's not gonna be happening with this. If you're looking to build a steady, profitable online business over a few year period, then Amazon could be a great option for you. It does take a little bit of capital to get started, meaning you're going to need capital to essentially figure out what type of products you wanna order, ordering that first shipment of products and then launching them on Amazon. There's gonna be other fees associated with getting the products over. Amazon charges a few fees for storing the products and doing the fulfillment as well. So overall, Amazon FBA is essentially a easy methodology to sell products online directly to consumers with kind of isolating a lot of the issues that e-commerce brands have and pushing that to something that Amazon does really well, which is handling that logistical side. That's why they've become such a massive successful business. And if you were going to essentially survey 100 people off the street in New York City, I would say a lot of people probably have their credit card stored in an Amazon Whereas Walmart or even any other platform, a lot of times people, they don't have that account. They don't have that information. Uh, the one click buy on Amazon is going to be getting a lot more of those impulse buyers. Overall, Amazon is a great option. But again, some of the cons are it's gonna take a little bit of capital. There is a lot of competition on Amazon. So unless you're creating your own products, which isn't necessary, you can essentially find a water bottle and slap your label on it. But that's also gonna be a little bit more competitive because you don't really have any moat or competitive advantage from somebody who's doing the same thing. The only real benefit is you can add a better logo or a cooler brand name. That's why a lot of businesses are creating unique products or they're finding products on Amazon 
looking at the low one, two, and three star reviews, and then making tweaks to make that product a lot better. Maybe they're doing it at a better price point, and maybe they're just overall making a much bigger and better product. Now, let's say you go the water bottle route and you find a water bottle that's amazing. There's, there's only one on the market, but people keep saying this water bottle is leaking and it's extremely frustrating. Maybe you go and find this same sort of manufacturer, but you solve this leakage issue and you make a leak proof water bottle. That's just a quick example of what you could do. There's millions of products being sold on Amazon, so you can really figure out what it's like. And if you like this video, if you wanna learn more about Amazon FBA, I'll do a whole one hour walkthrough with some other industry experts on how you can get started in a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to start making money on Amazon. So if you like this concept, if you wanna learn more about making money online, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be making exclusive content just about how you can make online businesses and get started as an entrepreneur. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this and make sure you subscribe. Take care and have a wonderful day.